Hey, what's poppin' first order family? Welcome back. I got a brand new video for you guys. Small Red Dead Redemption 2. So what we're gonna do today is look at the player and the horse for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, let's jump into Arthur. So I did take a quick peek at it. I didn't um, like look at everything in depth. But taking a quick peek, you know, it's giving you the ability to build your character up. Somewhat similar to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, right? Um, as I said during the first walkthrough, I don't remember, like, the specifics of the last game. I uh, read that redemption in the first one. I don't remember the specifics of it, but, you know, um, looking at this right here, it does seem to be more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, like where you you build your player up. Like if you look here at condi um, conditions, right, and you check weight, it says perfect. But you look to the left, it says weight. Eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or underweight. If you are overweight, stamina will be affected negatively, go down, and health will improve. Basically, you'll be like. You'll be like a tank, basically. Uh, when I say tank, that's for my ESO people. Who, who a tank is basically where a person who could absorb a lot of damage. Now, as you see, the stamina goes down, so they they're not able to fight prolonged periods, but, but they're able to take a lot of damage. You know, like a brute. Like if you play Spider Man, you'll see the big guys who. Who got a lot of health, but they don't, they can't, they can't fight for sustained periods and shit like that. That's what a tank is. And if you eat too much, that's what will happen when you become overweight. Um, if you are underweight, health will be affected negatively, so your health will go down, and your stamina will improve. So you, you'll be, you know, you'll be more energetic. You'll have, you'll be able to sprint, swim, fight, do any anything that requires stamina. You'll be able to do it longer. If you become underweight as opposed to overweight, um, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, temperature, the weather, in conjunction with your clothing, can make you too hot or too cold. If you become hot or cold, your core will drain rapidly. So now you gotta <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be careful about what you wear. Like unlike in other games, you just put on anything anytime and it is what it is so apparently in this game you have to watch what you wear so if it's summertime you don't want to come out there with a big ass coat on because obviously you're going you're gonna to get hot fast and your core health will drain rapidly so you'll be easier to to kill you won't be able to regain your health back like during fights and shit because you're too hot too cold I'm assuming it's the same way. It says your core health will drain rapidly. So that is um that's awesome. I mean that's 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 some awesome thing. That, that's 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 amazing. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. I love that. I, I love the RPG ish feel of it, but I must say like it's I can't wait for the multiplayer. If all of this stuff still like. If all this stuff is still important during multiplayer, I think that adds another level to to characters. Another level to it will add another level to PvP type games. Toxicity. Certain animals are poisonous. If you become poisoned, your core health will drain rapidly. You can be poisoned by snakes and shit. Like that's crazy. That's, that's, that's fucking crazy. Like in games like ESO, you can interact with the animals in the sense that you could kill them. But you can't really like, I don't wanna say, honestly, I can't even talk about ESO because it's more, it's, it's different. It's different because you got, you got, um, you know, certain places got magic and shit. So you could cleanse shit off and stuff like that. but. I think it's another level when it's a realistic game like this, where if you're poisoned, you gotta really take care of that shit. Like, I think that 
I'm gonna be honest. I'm excited behind the shit. I am excited behind the shit. The, the stuff that I, that I see in this game right now is just crazy. It's crazy. Well-being, I'm assuming it's like an overall thing. Uh, if your well-being deteriorates, your health, stamina, and dead eye will be negatively affected. Dead eye? I'm not sure what dead eye is. I'm assuming it's something to do with your shooting. But probably like some slow time type shit. But this is crazy. And if you look down to the bottom on the left, it says sickness cannot be easily cured. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. And you got perks here. I didn't get any perks yet. Because we only did one walkthrough. Um, but this is crazy. This is this is some good shit. Your stats are impacted by how you care for yourself. Eating and sleeping will refill your cores. So you got to sleep as well. You got to sleep as well. And you see hair length, facial hair length. Weight, temperature, and perks affect your stats. Honor. Your honor will change as you perform both good and bad deeds. As you become more honorable or dishonorable, your game experience will change. Store prices. Good deeds will improve your honor level. Hmm. So you could be, you could be, I don't know if y'all remember the game Infamous. You could be a hero, you could be infamous. Like, you know, you could be the Venom. Not a, I'm not a bad guy, but I'm not a good guy either. I'm an anti-hero. I'm a, I'm me. I do what I want type shit. This is this is going to be this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting here. You could you could you could get into specifics with the health. Your health attribute determines how much damage you can take. Progression: increase your health level through gameplay, fist fights, bow shots, fishing, and other physical strength related activities will increase it. That's good. Weight is perfect. Temperature is fair. The weather in conjunction. Okay, we know about this. We know about those. Same. Um, I'm assuming these are just going to be health-related perks. Uh, a perk will give the player a permanent upgrade. That's this. This shit is interesting, man. This shit is interesting. Right? I'm liking it already, and I didn't even get to the to the good shit. Your stamina attribute determines how far you can run before becoming tired. Increase your stamina level through gameplay. Performing strenuous activities such as sprinting or swimming will increase it. Okay, so toxicity doesn't have a, um, a condition, a negative effect or a positive effect, obviously, on your <clears throat> on your well-being. At least not not looking at this. Okay, just just your well-being, your weight. And then you got a stamina related perks. Keep exploring to find all talismans, trinkets, and other special items. Perks will improve your attributes and have other beneficial effects. So yeah, this is stamina based um, perks and the other one is health based perks. Um, progress to next level is, is where you're at 50 out of 100. So. Once you get, I guess, 100 experience points with stamina, will go up to level 3, and there's a maximum of 8 levels. This shit is all interesting. It's all interesting. Let's check out the horse and see what the horse has. I'm assuming it's going to be the same. I'm handling is standard. Acceleration is only at 3 out of possible 4 um, bars, and speed is at a 3 out of a possible 5 bars. So, obviously, to get to 10... What you can see there, 10 is the max. You would need to, I'm assuming, do either upgrade your horse or bond with it more. Or, or maybe, and if you look on the right, right here where it says tech, saddle and stirrups, maybe if you change your gear and shit like that, you, you, you know, it might give your, your horse some type of boost. I don't know, but we're going to see. Taking care of your horse will increase its bonding, which in turn will increase its health, stamina, speed, and acceleration. Now, you see how it says that. But if you look if you look at the bottom chart, it says it's five speed, 
is five highlighted, five is black. So I don't know if bonding will in, will open up the other ones, or if bonding will only increase the ones that's highlighted. But we'll find out together because we're gonna be doing a walkthrough on the game. But this is all this is all good. This is intriguing. This is it's a good change of pace for me, and I'm I'm liking this shit already. Physique. While most aspects of your horse's physique are fixed, its weight can change based on how you choose to feed it. That's that's crazy. Type is a riding horse. Breed Tennessee Walker. Gender is male. Weight is fit. Coat mahogany bay. Horse breed, gender, and coat can all affect statistics. Oh wow. That's crazy. The coat, your horse's coat could affect statistics. How? I don't know for sure, but we'll find out. Bonding. Feeding, grooming, and riding your horse will increase your bonding level. Higher bonding level will in turn increase your horse attributes and other statistics. Your horse will bond more readily when you keep it well fed. Oh, nice. Little little tidbit right there. The more you, you know, if you keep your horse fed, it'll love you more. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice your horse's health attribute determines how much damage it can take health can be impacted by conditions or improved through tack and bonding level so right now it's at 3 out of 10 core percent remaining is 100 core drain rate is 0 so it's going to be drained at a, at a normal rate as opposed to being higher or draining, draining faster or draining slower Feed and groom your horse regularly to maintain its core health. Your horse's stamina attribute determines how long it can gallop for. Horse stamina can be impacted by conditions or improved through attacking bonding level. Currently is at 4 out of 10, no drain rate, and 100% of your core remaining. Feed and groom your horse regularly to maintain its core stamina. Okay, so feeding and grooming affects both stamina and health. Condition is clean. Clean your horse by riding it through water. Okay. Regular grooming will prevent your horse from becoming dirty. If your horse becomes dirty, its health will be affected negatively. Like, okay. That's, that's cool. Riding your horse too hard or bringing it into contact with stressful situations such as combat or predators can lead to it becoming agitated. An agitated horse can throw its rider off. <laughs> Nice. That's nice. I, I, I gotta admit, that's nice. Higher bonding levels will reduce the chance of your horse becoming agitated. So the more you train and bond with your horse, it may become used to certain situations. Like if you're one of those aggressive people who, who don't want to get off your horse, let's say a block away, right? For those who live in the city, like a block away. You get you get off your horse at one corner, you know, tied up and then go into the combat. Some people might want to come halfway or even three quarters of the way close to the combat, which may agitate a regular horse. But if you bond with your horse enough and you you get it used to certain things, it will become less agitated about it because it's used to that type of shit. But we all, as I said, we all gonna find out together. We all gonna see because this shit is type amazing. I mean, I'm I'm loving this right here. I'm loving this right here, and we ain't even get into it yet. We ain't get into it yet. Saddles not only add style, but can improve some of your, your horse's statistics. Your health regenerate, stamina regenerate. Gets a boost. Saddles can be purchased at stables. And you know this is good. Um, Remember we looked in the drawer and during the walkthrough part one of the walkthrough, I found the dollar and sixty two cent or some shit. It was a dollar and some change, I believe. But you can actually go to the store and use them. <laughs> this is this is this is awesome, right? It's awesome. It's an actual store. It's not like some menu you just. Well, don't quote me. It says it could be purchased at stables, so I'm assuming you actually have to go to the stables and purchase it. Not like press start and go to a menu and purchase it type shit. I like that. Stirrups can improve some of your horse's statistics. 
Acceleration plus one, speed plus one, stamina core drain rate does not have a boost or negative effect. Serve can be purchased at stables. So as I thought, um, certain styles, I mean certain uh, gear will give your horse a uh, boost, which is good. That's great. Um, honestly, I'm liking the RPG style of the game. Um, that's it. That's it of the characters. So I'll see you guys in the next walkthrough, man. Grip up. Famous power. Yo, thanks for watching the video, guys. It's much appreciated. I look forward to chatting with you guys down in the comment section. But before you go, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's much appreciated. Grip up. Famous power.